uh, I hear an occasional Democrat saying we should just ignore the trade deficit. I don't think uh, that flailing or ignoring is the right of, uh, approach. I know that there's been a significant discussion here about cryptocurrencies. Um, this constitutes cryptocurrencies an attempt, I hope unsuccessful, to transfer power from the United States government to sanctions evaders, terrorists, tax evaders, and drug dealers, <laughs> while reducing the importance, as the chairman indicated, of the United States uh, dollar as the reserve and trade currency. Uh, Madam Chair, I know that we have an executive from Facebook coming to join us, but ultimately it is time to bring Mark Zuckerberg here. Uh, he is the one that has made billions of dollars out of us, relies on the U.S. government to protect his billions, and now wants to undermine the system. But I, I see his problem, and that is he, he wants to invade the privacy of the average American and sell our data, and in order to compensate for that, he wants to provide privacy to drug dealers and terrorists, thereby establishing how dedicated to privacy he is. So I look forward to uh, bringing him here because the Libra is an attempt to create a cryptocurrency that you could actually use to buy things. Right now, we can kind of monitor the Bitcoin because to actually buy something, uh, you, need to, um, you need to convert it to the dollar. I, um, uh, Mr. Chairman, I want to uh, shift to another issue. We've talked uh, last time you were here about wire fraud. Uh, Mr. Kustoff and I got uh, 40 of our members to uh, write you, uh, and we just got the response uh, today about the need for a name-matching system so that when you wire money, you wire money not just to an account number but to a name because especially in real estate transactions, we've had a lot of people uh, tricked into wiring money into an account because uh, uh, hacking and spoofing and, uh, uh, has caused them to do that. Um, the United Kingdom is moving to a safeguard system where when you wire the money, you wire it not just to an account number, but that you match it with a name. Your response indicated that uh, there'd be some difficulty in doing that here. Um, I know that we have state laws here that establish some rules, but you certainly have the capacity to regulate the financial institutions. You have regulations in this area. You could adopt regulations that say, if you're going to accept a wire transfer, it has to be wired to a account name, not just to an account number. Um, uh, how do you plan on addressing this issue where uh, people are uh, conned into wiring money into an account number, thinking that's the owner of the property that they're trying to buy? So we, we understand it's a serious issue and that it's something that they do very in a very organized crime kind of a way, hacking into. They get, get a list of the real estate transactions. They try to hack into the players and they try to divert these payments. It's, you know, it's organized crime. Um, you accurately, obviously, uh, summarize the contents of that letter. Uh, and I would say, you know, we, we, we have concerns about the, 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 um, the matching name idea because we think it con conflicts with some state laws. We think that really the way to get after it is to get banks to have appropriate ID from customers. But what, what I will propose, though, is let me get the, the people who are the experts in this to talk to you and your staff mm -hmm. and try and, to... And, and, and I would point out, this is clearly interstate commerce. This is clearly federal jurisdiction legal. And we've granted you the power. Please use it. Great. 